I grew up in a pretty multicultural community. As a teenager, I babysat for kids who were Latino, um, kids who were black, a German family who I have no idea what their kids were saying, but they were really cute. I didn't know that racism was the issue that it is. I'm sure I learned about it in history books. I knew it existed, but I didn't know. So I'm just thinking about how to introduce this idea to my kids or what to say to them. How you have brown Legos, what you have light brown and dark brown Legos, is that what they are? Yeah. Your Lego people? We have tan, darker brown, and browns. I didn't know that there was three different colors of Lego people. Yeah. Huh. Well, what do you know? Which one am I? Which one are you? Uh -huh. We're all tan. We're all tan? These are the tan. Cool. Which one's Moana? 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 They're really dark. Moana's really dark? So what's the... The middle one, the what you said, tan, brown, and darker brown. Tan, light brown. Light brown. And brown. And brown. Okay. So who are the light brown people? Jasmine. Oh yeah. Okay. Then and I don't know what other one. Yeah, Moana is dark brown. Are the people who are darker than Moana? Moana. Or do you just not have Lego people that are darker? You don't. Are there black Lego people? Black. No. Are there people who are black? Like are real people? Are there people that are different? I don't know. No? You've never are seen a black person? Are there people black? Have you seen a dark brown person? Uh, hmm. I think so. Have you seen a white person? A white? <laughs> no. <laughs> Do you know that some people would say you're a white person? Yeah. You're a red person! <laughs> <laughs> At least your face is white. Yeah, it's really red. Yeah, your face is pink. Pink? Yeah. No, my cheeks are pink. Is your best friend brown or tan? I do not know. Maybe a bit dark. A bit dark? Mine is a little bit brown. You're a little bit brown? No, I'm a little bit brown. I am a little bit browner than you, it's true. It might just be the lighting. You are pretty, um... I believe the color elastic that I have would be ivory. Yeah, I'm gonna go with ivory or possibly light cream. One of those colors. <gasps> light cream, that's like ice cream, but light. What, ice cream time. What flavor of ice cream are you? <laughs> Chocolate. No, I'm Oreo. We love Oreo. Okay, that's the, that, that is the best. Mm -hmm. So I guess we could, let's empty. go with that. I'm an so Oreo face. if people are like flavors of ice cream, are they all good? Oh, I think I <laughs> They're all good? Every color of ice cream is yummy? Yes. Yeah. Oh, it never had pistachio ice cream. Face. Pistachio. But green people would be concerning. Green? We have the green ice cream that's pistachio. Mm, but mint, which is also green, is delicious. So... There we have it. What do you think when you see someone who looks different? Like, do you notice they look different? Do you treat them differently? I do not know. Would you treat your tan friend different than your light brown friend? I don't know why you would do that, actually. I have no idea. So let's not do that. Does it matter what color your friends are? No. Cool. Prior to today's conversation, I don't think my daughter really noticed that people are different colors. I'm guessing now she's going to notice. So if you're ever wondering how to create a problem, just start pointing out the differences in people and teach your children to notice the differences. I think it was probably better before our conversation when we're all just friends and she didn't notice that people look different. <laughs> According to my daughter, she's not sure she's ever really seen a like, black person, and she's definitely never seen a white person. That would just be crazy. Turns out that we're all just different shades of brown. So there you have it, folks. The world according to a six-year-old. She's seven. She's seven now. The world according to a seven-year-old. <laughs>